Hi, my name is Eddie Parrish, owner of Edison Lighting Supply. Today we're going to be doing a how-to video on retrofitting a 400 watt metal halide or a high pressure sodium fixture, whichever one you may have. We're going to navigate the process from top to bottom and eventually we're going to come down to where we're running direct current into the socket to plug in our 150 watt corn lamp. The beauty of this corn lamp, we put a five year guarantee behind it, 19,000 plus lumens uh, built with fin aluminum, also has a Sunco fan up top to ensure cool burning inside an enclosed fixture or an open fixture as well. It's backed up by a five year guarantee. So let's get started. Here are the tools that we're going to need for today's project, 5 sixteenths socket, wire cutters, obviously electrical tape, 5 sixteenths nut driver, handheld, and then a handheld 3 8 inch nut driver, and just your simple pair of wire cutters. First of all, let's get rid of this lens. We'll just simply bring up these latches here. So bring the fixture lower for us to be able to work on. Kind of set this aside for the time being until we're finished with the project. Right. So, I think we're going to grab our, uh, excuse me, our 5 sixteenths nut driver here. We're just going to kind of work our way from the top down to the bottom once again. Okay. This is simple mechanics. We're just going to fast forward through this. So we have we've got the ground uh, hot and neutral coming out top. We can just go right into here. There's two bolts in here. This specific fixture it's designed differently. Like I said, every, this fixture is a little bit more intricate than others. Okay, let's fast forward. This will just slide off the top here, and we lost a screw on the floor, but that's okay. We'll catch up with that guy here after a bit. Okay, so still with our 5 16 driver, we're going to go ahead and remove this top plate here. Let's fast forward again. With this particular fixture to get rid of these house, this top piece of this housing unit to get down into these pieces, uh, we are going to need to unscrew um, these from down below here. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, now we have all the screws done for the top shell portion. Folks, we got tons of wiring in here that we don't need, but the most of the wiring we do need is just the wires, the white and black wires going to the socket. You're going to see these once I get this removed. Okay. Now, got my cutters here, and I'm just going to start cutting away because all I've done is remove the socket wires. These are the once again the only two, the black and the white. We're going to bypass all of this stuff. So let's start cutting. So 
So we're free of that. Now we're just going to get into getting rid of the ballast and then we have the capacitor right here. All of this stuff's going to go. Okay, now we have the ballast loose from the housing. This is going to lighten your fixture up tremendously. Um, and go ahead and let's cut this loose from the fixture. We're just going to go. There we go, folks. Ballast is totally removed from your. 400 watt fixture. Make one hell of a paperweight for your desk. So, go ahead and get the capacitor out of here. You really don't need to, but I figure we'll just light this up tremendously. So, when you go to rehang this fixture, it's going to be a lot more manageable. And there's our capacitor going. Okay, all right, go ahead and take the wire strippers to this. We got plenty of wire nuts laying around here off this ballast that we don't have to hunt, hunt for them. Reuse what you got. Okay, so uh, simply we're going to go in here and take the white wire to the white wire coming in from the top of the housing. Once again, we're back up here on the top of the housing. White wire, white wire. Make sure this is on tight. And then we're going to go black wire to black wire. Safety safe. We're going to grab our electrical tape. Just going to make a nice wrap around it. Okay. All right. Good there. Don't necessarily need to worry about a ground wire. That's for the ballast itself. This is going, these two wires here. directly to the socket, the mobile base socket at the bottom of the fixture. So, anyway, we're good to go. Start putting the screws back in. Hand tighten them as good as you can before you have to get in to set the socket on it. Okay, now that we have our top casing back on uh, for the ballast area that's been emptied out, we're just going to start putting on the power supply that's coming back up to the top of the picture. So, just going to screw in a few more screws here. Okay. If we remember correctly, we're going to slide this back over. But also, what I've done is I've built up a brand new cord and cable that we're actually going to bring through the top of this unit. And we're going to tie in to these units right here as well. So, anyway, I'm going to cut these down.
here. Let's go ahead and thread our new cable. We'll try and turn this around. And you can see, thread this new cable right through the top here. Okay, so we've cut a new cable and ran it through the top, new wire, and now we're going to connect it to the wire coming up out of the fixture. So we'll grab our wire nuts here. Now we got that this part together here. We're going to swing the fixture around. As we, so as we remember correctly, this housing slides right over this top plate here. So just slide it right in there, nice and tight like that. Okay. Here, grab some of them. I'm going to go ahead and set these screws in here in these hole for this bracket here for this specific fixture and bring it back. We'll grab our hand driver here. As you can see we inserted the screws here as well as right here to hold this slide box on with the hook attachment. So, that part's done there. Once again, folks, we'll work from top down to bottom uh, with this um, retrofit application. We'll just go ahead and put the plate back over. That'll be your access point for uh, any wiring needs. The beauty of these corn lamps is they're 120 all the way up to 277 volts. Okay, we're done. Okay, now that we have this wired up, all put back together, it's time to put our 150 watt corn lamp uh, in. Um, once again, 19,000 lumen, five year guarantee, fin aluminum, Sunco fan for cooler operation, great, great product. Screw this in. It's all mobile base, so we don't need to worry about uh, downsizing to a medium base or vice versa, and voila, there we go. Bright, white, 5,000 Kelvin. That'll have I. We put this beauty back, the winds back over it to give it some diffusion through your warehouse, manufacturing facility, and uh, your we have no more ballast humming, no more uh, uh, ballast failures, bulb failures, and once again, going to save you over 70% in energy savings. Phenomenal product. Glad to have it in our line card here at Edison Lighting Supply. Thanks for visiting today. And if you decide to get in this project, don't forget, if you don't feel that you're qualified for it, please consult with a licensed electrician. Be safe. Have a great day.